Hello everyone, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 5th edition edition solo runs. Now, I have to concede to a daft thing I did. I spent a lot of money on scale mail plus one armor, because I thought it would improve my armor class. But my armor class is the same, because scale mail is 14 AC with disadvantage on stealth rolls. If you make it plus one scale mail armor, you get to 15 AC with disadvantage on stealth rolls and if you have the defensive fighting style like i do your ac gets to 16 which is what the plus one from ac boost is so i probably spent way too much money on armor that i did not need to spend armor on but i have it i'm wearing it and so be it we also now have our heavy crossbow that we can swap out which is very nice and now i think after the excitement of killing the owlbear and the ogre we're just going to take things easy in the Druid's Grove for a little bit. See if we can't find some people to help or some quests that we can't do of our own initiative. So I know that somewhere around here there is a little girl that would like a statue in the middle of the Druid's Grove to be stolen. And we've never done that before. So I'm wondering if with our new psionic pull ability we might be able to maybe make that work for us hmm. he stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring maybe i'm both mm -hmm. mm. talkative on this right past you I thought he was defending the hole that would get you into the area underneath. Because to get the quest, I think we need to either go and fight the harpies or get our way into the secret back area without causing a problem. But let's see if we can even get down here first of all, because we're not a druid on this occasion. My daughter go right now she's a thief hell spawn and you will wait for corga's judgment now get back oh let me through ragrashab or i'll rip your damn throat out oh that's new damn it we could have taken those gods yeah, I don't think you can take a wild-shaped boar uh, bear, though, can you? Let's go have a word ourselves. I could try grease some palms. Ah, I was going to guide myself for any checks, but it's too late for that. Hello. Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You get back. Uh, I'm not here for trouble. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. I helped at the gates, didn't I? Apparently, Corga wants to see you. Go ahead. Oh. I don't remember that part of that conversation either, but I'll take it. So, we haven't received the quest yet, but this is the idol that they want stolen. So... I don't know quite how we'll go about stealing it, but we do have our psionic pull, and we do have some scrolls of fog cloud, I think. So there could be some potential in our future for stealing that when the time is right. But for now, let's go see Cargo downstairs. And let's guide ourselves if this is indeed working correctly as intended. See if we can't get this little girl saved. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what? Wrath. A thief. A poison. A threat. I will imprison the devil. And I will cast... Oh, my ponytail is doing sexy things. We will speak soon enough. 
First, judgment must be passed. The parasite eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Now, what skills do we have here? Plus two, plus two, plus three, plus seven on that. Plus seven on this as well. Oh, no, this... This is plus eight. But... Two and two and three does make seven. But it says persuasion plus eight. So let's just go with this. Might be guidance screwing things up. Very well. She may go. Out, thief. Thank you, Korga. Halsin isn't here. Keep Every time I make a dice roll, I just feel like I'm going to fail it. Right, you wanted to speak to me, miss. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Ah, you are like the devils. Where they tread, chaos follows. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus and the rite has resumed. Okay, so you want to do your thing. Why did you want to speak to me? Free of intruders. What do you want? So you say. Yet the, you showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the viper must strike. Well, that's cheeky. I will speak... Oh, we could just attack. That seems like a terrible plan. We'll speak to Zevlor. Then speak. This tale ends but one way. She is mean, isn't she? This will all be over. The right. almost finished. So... They want to have the druids just kind of removed from this situation, it seems. The tieflings, excuse me. There's Netty, the one who can provide us with health and safety. But what she also has is wyvern poison, and that's what I really want. But I don't think we would successfully be able to um, pickpocket with our stealth being so low. Just give me a moment. A moment. This may yes. be there. Heal the nice birdie. What was it you needed? Uh, I need healing. Good enough to a bit tired, maybe. But we're all a bit tired. Yes, I'm very tired. Get some rest. Take a nipple whiskey before bed if you need to. Come. Okay. Apparently that was not the uh, conversation I needed to have. Where did she go? She's right there. So, I can't see any wyvern poison just kind of sitting around, and everything here seems to be stealing. She has it. It's just going to be very difficult to steal. And whilst it's going to be really good for one attack on something down the line i don't think the risk of getting caught and then starting a great big fight against all of these foes out of our territory whilst we have no spell slots seems like a bad choice everything in here is stealing as well so i think we'll just be heading back upstairs and then if we can't find a way to have a conversation with the tiefling kids that want the idol stolen, we might have to find ourselves a way to fight the harpies around the corner, which will definitely be a tricky tale. 
Because we'll definitely need to long rest first. That's a given. Let's go speak to the parents of the kid. Because they'll be grateful that we have rescued them. You ever scare me like that again and I'll feed you. Mom. How little he It's not much, but here. Know that if you call, we'll come running. No matter what. No more stealing, right, kid? Thank you. Alright, so I think that gives us an amulet of... Yeah. It's like the lights cantrip. Dancing lights. We'll prefer guidance for now, but... We'll probably just sell this down the line. Add to wares. And that was probably some experience, right? So we're now looking at 877 to get our level. Now, down there are where the harpies live. I don't know if our elven ancestry is quite enough to have us not ever be affected by their songs. I think it should be. But it's not specifically a sleep effect. It might be a charm effect. So we might be alright. But before we get to that. If this autosave would hurry up. We should be strong enough. To make the leaps across here. To the chest over yonder. Because our jump distance directly correlates to our strength. And our strength is very high. And we can see what's in that chest over there. Because, boy, do we need all the supplies we can get since we sold off so much of our stuff. Trying to get this armor that is not better than what we have. That was not great. Hop back over. The other problem is, with the harpies just down the way, if we fail at saving the kid... Will that lock us out of the quest that we want? Because that would be a bad time. So we're not going to approach over that way yet. Because that's a fight we're not ready to have. I know there's a bard up here. Last time I failed to have any kind of meaningful conversation with them. But we can give it another go. You're right there. No, I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song. I can't... Can we help? Mm. We've got guidance to help. Hurt. I have hurt. I have an extra loot, if you want. Sure. I'll start from the beginning. We'll take it slow. Oh, this is going to go so poorly. I'm sure we do not have performance proficiency. Uh, but charisma's fine, and we've got our guidance. Slip the loot into your pack. Alright. Dice rolls, one time. When it really doesn't matter for our survival. Yeah, that's pretty standard. Interesting. Why don't we try again? Yeah. We can definitely get this one. Oh, come on. Guidance. You cruel spell. Welp, that was a great deal of nothing. No, that's awful. Alright, well in that case, it might be time to have another long rest, see if we get any kind of peculiar interactions at night, because they seem to be a favourite of everybody at the moment. There's another bear down this beach, isn't there? But as a fighter... We have no way... Ooh. Oh, we just just somewhere to sit. I was thinking that there might be treasure underneath it. But sure. Oh, there is. Oh, no. 
Oh no. I did not expect to suddenly have to fight two bears. Okay, we have second wind in action surge. That's a good start. Let me just see what we just picked up. Amulet of Sylvanas. Where it gains level 2 abjuration spell, lesser restoration. Well, that's excellent to know about, but I didn't think it would suddenly trigger this fight. So, first of all, bonus action, increase our armor class. We can't second wind with that, but we'll see how we go. And main hand attack. That's good. I'm going to action surge right now. See if we can't prevent them from even having a second turn. Alright. That went fine. I hope nobody up there finds out that we murdered a bear. I will take the fish though because hero's got to eat. Can we hop over there? We can. Is this just the backside of the harpy fight? Because what I definitely don't want to do is accidentally start the harpy fight. But while I'm over here, I'll take a peek at this chest. Plenty of cash treasure. Don't think we can get all the way over there. And the other side of here leads up to the harpy nest, I think. But from here, it might not even be this side. It might be up there somewhere. So we'll worry about that another day. We need to jump back from wherever we are. Now let's see if we can get up to the exit of camp without having to fight another bear and as such proccing a fight with lots of druids around them because otherwise that's going to end real badly for us. Right. No red dots up here. I think it's about time we went and took a rather well needed long rest so i will walk back around to the front of the camp and do that unless any of these tieflings have anything extra to say to us you're just here to scam us right hold out your hand mister let me show you something go on take this ring it's lucky no, thank you. Too smart for your scams, little one. Hmm. What about Zeph? I've never met you before. We could help each other. Fight the goblins together. Instead, these fools are trying to chase us away. Yeah, that's all they have to say. Alright, I will go out front, take a long rest, and then we'll see about killing some harpies next time, perhaps. Alright, the classic routine, get ourselves to an ancient rune circle, go to camp and end of the day. See if anything strange happens at camp. Have a nice meal, including the traditional throwing of a water jug. And to eat today, let's have a whole pig's head. And to wash that down, an apple in the pig's mouth, obviously. And we've got some veg on the side. There's a carrot or two. There's a hearty meal. Otherwise, we can have a little trip to the bedroll. See if anything weird happens in the night. Nope, we are back safe once again. 
So join me next time. We'll go back into the Druid's Grove and see about trying to very carefully kill some harpies over on that east hand side. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, do please consider subscribing or pressing that like button. It means a lot to me. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. And otherwise, I hope you're having a great day. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.